So today we'll be talking about the opportunities in the field of computers. So basically most of the people have asked me what is the difference between computer engineering, computer science and information technology. So basically these are very distinct fields but uh, most of the curriculum that you have in your colleges is not really that distinct. So when you get a job profile that is where it makes the difference. So from my point standpoint uh, basically computer engineering is a field which involves the study of electrical engineering, electronics engineering as well as computers. Okay. So it is a mixed field. So if you are into computer engineering you need to focus on building the computers okay so now we have advanced architecture so you need not really build a computer but uh, the processing power that needs to be improved and updated day to day so that's where it comes so if you are opting for computer engineering so that make sure you have good analytical skills uh, can go with poor math skills as well yeah I have not really good math skills but I am a good computer engineer I could say and secondly you could go around with engineering skills like you should have a good understanding of physics what goes on behind an architecture or something you need to know about that okay that's about computer engineering and the job profiles here are systems designer systems developer uh, hardware designer or kind of that means you are into something designing stuff so you would enjoy this field if you are into designing something if you like designing substances like if you like working with microprocessors or something like that you would enjoy this field definitely so that's for computer engineering as apart from computer engineering there is something called as computer science as I said see this field is heavily mathematical I would say it involves heavy maths so if you are not good at maths don't even try this field so it's all about mathematics I would say it involves all everything from computer science theoretical computer science and compiler designs and combinatorics and a lot more things means it involves typically very heavy math so if you are interested in a field which is kind of mathematical so then you could go around with it most of the people who have degrees in mathematics are the ones who pursue computer science most of the times so it is also a very important field if you are on to research it is the best field you could go there's a lot of money in there and a very good job profile I would say apart from academics it's not really that useful because you won't get the kind of job like 9 to 5 jobs here but uh, the profile is really good it's, it's really great awesome and finally there's IT information technology see basically IT is something related to the data we process in day to day life okay so you use the internet everybody uses the internet so lot of data is generated a dumb data you could say okay our activities and all those things and based on that data okay they mine the data we have our data and that is mined and based on that decisions we have something called as processing the information so that processed information is what gives us the suggestions you could see intelligent suggestions are there uh, like if you go on amazon or something uh, if you have purchased the item apart from that item you would see a list of other items that most of the customers purchased okay so that way creating and understanding and analyzing information is what goes on in IT so it is also a very challenging field the major problem with IT is your knowledge needs to be updated from every now and then okay you cannot just sit idle and get fat salaries in IT your knowledge needs to be updated from time to time so if you are trying to get into IT jobs see to it that you put hours and hours of your effort into a job see newer technologies come newer people come you might get sacked so better way if you don't want to get sacked practice and get yourself perfect okay thanks